Just as it has always been, when our memories of the ancient world fade into twilight, a new era dawns to fill the void, an unfamiliar path with a pulse of its own, a tempo not dictated by the labor of men, but accelerated by the rhythm of machines, launching the world into an age of bold innovation. From this cauldron of steel and sweat, a vision of prosperity emerged. Harnessing the untold power of the elements, turning night into day. Creating new designs that brought the world stage to the masses. And providing an experience that many had never imagined. The advent of mechanized warfare brought devastation like none the world had ever seen providing a window of opportunity for some to dictate conformity as regimes spread their ideologies with a heavy hand, inciting the world to the brink of war. And yet, some chose a different path, and through their vision brought unique perspectives to the world. A singular proponents of free thinking remained, striving for peace in their endeavors to unlock the secrets of the universe. Some of which would fill our hearts with fear and regret. But as this progress unfolds, the finite nature of our world becomes clear. Our survival, the survival of all the world's peoples, depends on our ability to coexist in peace. But this peace is tenuous. Although mankind will always look onward, yearning for more, searching for new boundaries, only to break through them with the understanding that this world is one in which we all share, comes the responsibility of knowing that the decisions you make today will have a lasting impact on the generations of tomorrow. Hello, and welcome. I'm going to start a new playthrough using some of the new stuff that I have acquired and I'm going to be playing some absolutely legendary playthrough of Sid Meier's Civilization V Brave New World on a challenge that I kind of set for myself and I set for anyone else who wants to untake this challenge and uh, just going to use some of this time to put down some exposition this absolutely le legendary challenge is um, is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while now and thought hey might as well just bring it out there and uh, put it in front of my fans as something they can watch and have fun with under my demise because I I'm pretty sure this isn't going to turn out well but you know who knows and putting everything up on legendary I put I did a quick playthrough of this on Prince just to try to get used to everything all right and uh, you're gonna see the last playthrough I did there but this is going to be an absolutely legendary challenge we're in a map type huge map I'm everything back to normal okay good huge map M D E D. and Standard as always going to advanced. Uh, I am going to click it down to 10 people times off because in that Raging Barbarians random personalities. Uh, yep, all right now. I'm just gonna head off without a cue because nothing else really to say in there right now except for this is going to be crazy hard and I have no idea who I'm playing with I'm just gonna use my normal setup so let's just see how this goes the people of Morocco await your guidance great Sultan Ahmed al-Mansur of the Saudi <sighs> Well known for your skill as both a negotiator and a diplomat, 
Your careful words allowed for the forging of new alliances, <coughs> securing the sovereignty of your nation and its people for decades. And still, when words fail, you found equal success in conquest, leading the Moroccan armies to victory on the battlefield while greatly expanding the grasp of your empire. Wise and respected Sultan, the people look to you for leadership. Can your skill in diplomacy match that of your rivals, or will you have to meet them sword in hand? Your once great kingdom yearns for that form of glory. Can you build a civilization? Okay, this has been a blessing because this is something that I can pull off. I just did a Prince playthrough. I didn't record it or nothing as Morocco because I wanted to try to get down to tourism victory. And I did it without entering a single war. So let's just get this underway. Makash. Uh and uh whew. That, that was a lucky roll there if I were to uh, put it put it in any way. Um I believe let's see, what did I go with first last time? This one direction every city. Okay. Okay, because I know in the beginning I usually like to go Tradition and Liberty right off the bat, and, uh, hold on. I'm going to do this so I don't have to talk over. Okay. Also, copyright probably has something in there. But anyways, I, I think I'm going to build a monument. First off, and as always, the sprint for writing. <clears throat> beginning turns are kind of a place for some exposition. I might tell you what uh, what I might do here upcoming on my channel. I have some short stories I have been writing and thinking that I might start some uh, illustration and putting them, ooh, yes, quick ruins in ivory. That's a really good thing. And incense, two of them. Trade is valuable for us, for the Moroccan people. And you can just see the... <laughs> see how well I started off here Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he that helps because that just gives me an instant caravan but you know something I can't use marble over there too that's that's even better I don't know what that sound effect was hopefully that wasn't anything breaking or interfering. All right. Minor defeat. Uh, I'm actually going to see if there's a hill around you that I can perch myself on. And that actually helps out a lot. Hopefully that will upgrade my uh, fruit and do a spearman and I can take down that and cam it pretty easily. <coughs> hey, what do you know? That's good. Marrakesh is surrounded by rivers. That is good defensive strong point right there. Incense and marbles. Oh, just one marble, actually. I have met Dido. Alright. Oh, this, this probably means they are fairly close. <laughs> She already has a scout. I'm just, I don't know what deity gives the AI players at all. I'm about to increase to a population of two, though. Wow. Seven turn Pantheon. I can only guess who that is. 
I'm thinking the Irish are in this game. Or the Celts. Irish, aka Celts. I'm probably wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. I can only imagine that... That they spawn with like... They all spawn with a world wonder, and that's why they're ahead 50 points. Or with five citizens, that would help out a lot too. Spawning with five citizens. Alright, that's good. I'm gonna pop out a scout. Okay, because I have one more until pottery. I do not think I'm going to make the sprint to Catholicism. Or Christian. I'll probably get Protestantism or Eastern Orthodoxy if I do it right. Oh, wow. That's gonna put a damper on things. Especially all my healing hand axes. Nope, this is just already a tad bit harder. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out that encampment. Next turn. And the sprint for uh, the Great Library begins. Because those. that free technology and the free library just helps a lot with science. And Morocco, which is primary culture. Actually, I need to get out. Ugh. Hell, I'm probably gonna die. That unit's gonna die. There's no way it isn't. Hand axes are gonna ruin my day. The surprise on my face. Heal. Good thing is, the unit inside, the barbarians don't heal. At least, I hope so. I've never seen them heal. Then again, this is Dahidi. Who knows? The Reapers might come. Who knows? Okay. Tradition. Always good. I'm going for that wonder. And I should be able to get it before writing is done. I'm going to see if I can pop out a short... No. Okay. It's going to have to be after the Great Library. <laughs> okay. The, the beginning sprint's all about food. And trying to get out that one monument and the scout. The scout helps a lot if I can get it out. Okay, and then after getting the aristocracy and the tradition, I'm going to go for liberty because that gives me plus one culture. I know it help and going for the republic and then collective rule. Collective rule helps. You are going to do exactly what you are made for. So then I no longer have to use my spearman to scout. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the shrine. <coughs> By uh, getting the great library, the next thing that you want to go for is, uh, let's see if I can find it here, the Parthenon. That's what I. That's what I'd get. I always get drama and poetry and sprint for that Parthenon to get that cult, to get that uh, trip and tourism and culture from the great artwork that it has already in there. So, <clears throat> which is always is uh, Nero or one of them showing his friends to the Parthenon. <laughs> I'm doing surprisingly well. I thought this was gonna be. <laughs> ah. I'm only complaining because she just she has an embassy. You, uh, I can only say that if this goes unwell, I'm going to t 
tone it down five levels and show the absolutely legendary challenge without the le deity if this goes unwell because uh, I have six turns to go and the great library is the thing that I hinge on and why they have 74 score already beats me entirely Okay, here we go. Oh. Mina, Gingusha. And he has embassy too. Just give me that one GP too. Yeah. Ah, oh, this just this isn't good. I'm starting to think that maybe I should uh, change up my strategy just a bit. Hold on. Okay, writing is good. I need those. Embassies are really nice. I'm thinking I might need to change my strategy up a bit. Okay, I need, I like Parthenon. It helps me drastically. So, uh, that's a bad idea. Okay, I can only hope that my production is way better than them. If not, I get the gold, so I'm going to continue the sprint. Uh, okay. Hope that going for tradition helps. Yes, they're going for honor. Okay, that might be my key. The key may be... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is Zulu's. Hopefully random personalities really sh shakes up the whole tree. Maybe Zulu is actually going for... You know, a culture victory is willing to piece everything. And wow. Okay, that might be their tech trick. They are going for oh hey so, but they are going for uh, the worker right away and improving everything. <laughs> My incense is going to be key for trading later. So three more turns. I'm going to pop the great library ahead of the shrine put production on. Hopefully I don't go st stagnant. That would help. Parth Pantheon. I don't know why I always think God of the Open Sky. Uh, World Religions. Nope. Beliefs. Okay. No one took God King though. Wow. God King is the thing that I go for. Ruby encampment up there. All right. Well, you enjoy that. Uh, my guy is getting surrounded. Good thing is, that's pretty much all that's happening right now. It would be nice if I could start off an early caravan with Shaka. With to Um Gun Gun Luv. Ooh, Luvo. Shaka's capital. <laughs> oh. 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 I get it. I'll see it in the replay once I die. And that'll help. That'll help it. Okay. One more turn. They should heal up. I'm thinking that they start with more than one city now. I'm going to get this in the comments. Okay, I need to set up a timer though, so. He who destroyed I've met Wittenberg. Yay! Himself. From which my grand ancestors hailed. I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. Uh, okay, next. Going up through would be going up to bronze working. That helps a lot. So is the wheel, actually. But I'm pretty sure I can grab that later. Uh, actually, no, because I can't build anything during this period. Okay, I'm going to finish off this turn. And then we'll move on. Production. 27 turns. That's not too bad, but we did go stagnant. Can I... I usually save up money. Yeah, for the settler. 
Alrighty. In any orders, we are going to sit here and make some XP. Okay, now this is where I'm going to leave you, leave you guys off. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment if you wish to let me know of anything or how stupid I am. Like this video, share on G Google+, whatever, subscribe to see more. Okay, see you later.